Yeah. Well, talk about the partnership with the National Football League. I know at, a, at some date in the near future, you guys will be in Canton, Ohio, in a permanent home uh, within the National Football uh, League Confines. We're excited about the NFL Hall of Fame and David Baker and Joe Horgan for their vision to see that uh, black college football is so significant to the history of the game. And we're excited about being able to make Ken, Ohio, and the NFL Hall of Fame our permanent home. Now the, eight, the Hall of Fame has come in and offered us an opportunity to come to Kent. Uh, I think that in itself um, reads volume because what we're dealing with right now, you're dealing with a Hall of Fame once we get to Canton that will never be forgotten because it's in good hands. And we got so many guys that have been recognized, but we got so many more that have not. So we got a lot of work to be done. The Pro Football Hall of Fame has embraced it. They're building a wing in Canton, Ohio, which will be open in the 2019. They're going to play a classic, black classic football game in uh, Canton, Ohio, uh, as part of the Black College Football that's Hall great. of Fame. So there's a lot of prestige that's been associated, and people have embraced what's happening as far as the BCHOF. Uh, your thoughts about the Black College Football Hall of Fame uh, getting ready to become a part of the Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton? Boy, look here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get in the house. I'm gonna, Look, I might be in the kitchen, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be at Hollywood, going to be in the house. I like that there's 70 black men who played at historically black colleges about to invade Canton.